Latin 1. So we are on line 3 of the vocabulary section. Uh, these are taking longer than I thought, but frankly, they're necessary. It'll help us to, to learn the Latin. So uh, we're starting on line 3, which is the word lita. So everybody say lita. And lita means happy. Now, I don't really have anything in English necessarily that will help you with this, but I always think of like a happy heart as a light to heart. It's a light to hearted thing, you know. So if that helps you, great. Uh, the next word that we come to, it's on the next column of your glossary. It's still on line three. Um, and it's quod. Everybody, quod. And quod means because. Okay, and it's just one of those words you have to memorize. Now the next word is an interesting one, uh, and I'm going to um, I'm going to say it, and we'll talk about it, and then I'm going to skip down a couple words, and then we'll come back. Okay. So the next word is yam. Everybody say yam, not I am, yam. Okay. So an I in front of a vowel turns it into a y sound. So yam. Okay. Yam in this instance means now, but usually yam will mean already. So here it means now, and in this context it means now. But most of the time you're going to see other words that mean now, and this word will end up being already. Now I want you to skip subarbore and skip sedet for just a minute, and we're going to get to the word et. Okay, you see that there, et. Now et means and. Okay, it will always mean and. Okay, but what I really like is if we take et and yam and we smush them together, it means and now or and already. And then we take that and we look over across the column to etiam, also, even, and now, you can kind of see how those are related. Okay, uh, Okay. now we go back up to sub arbore, and I'll break that one into two pieces. So everybody say sub, sub, not sub, sub. All right, now sub means under, and we have a whole lot of words in English for that, okay? Submarine, subway, substandard, subpar, substitute, uh, subtract, all kinds of words that have to do with being underneath something. Subscription, subscribe, submit. All of these words have to do with being under something, conceptually or literally physically. Uh, so that's where we get that from. Now the next part is our, so sub means under. Arbore, everybody say arbore. Arbore means tree. Okay, so subarbore means under the tree. Arbore means tree, and that's where we get words like arbor, arboretum, arboreal, uh, words that have to do with tree type stuff. Okay, so subarbore. The next word that we see is sedet. Everybody say sedet. Sedet, not sedet. Say that. Say that means he, she, or it is sitting. He, she, or it does sit. He, she, or it sits. Now, I personally prefer to use my verbs with as few words as possible, so I'm going to always say he, she, or it sits. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's up to you. I don't really like is sitting, though, because it's confusing uh, with another verb. But say that. And it's where we get the word sedentary or sedimentary or sediment, the, the rocks that sit on top of each other, right? Uh, or sedation, to make you kind of just sit there. So that's where we get that word. So say that, he, she, or it sits. Now we did et already, so I'm gonna go down to the next word, which is legit, legit. And legit means he, she, or it reads. He, she, or it is reading, he, she, or it does read, but I'm just gonna start doing it as you know the shortest version possible. So he, she, or it, and in this case, since it's Cornelia and Flawe we're talking about, it's going to be she, but in a couple chapters, if we read about a couple boys who are reading, then we'll say he, okay? So he, she, or it reads, and it's where we get words like legible, ledger, uh, illegible, legislation, okay? All of those words. Uh, the next one is altera. Everybody say altera, okay? Not altera. Altera, okay? And this means a second. It can also mean another, which is just another way of saying a second, or it's a second way of saying another. Uh, so it's where we get alternate, alternate, alternative, alternator. It just shows us another choice, okay? The next word we see there is wikina. And now we're on line four, by the way, right? Wikina. 
uh, not vicina, okay? There's no soft C's in Latin, they're all hard C's. So anytime you see a C, think k, k, k. And every time you see a V in Latin, think w, w, w. So wikina. Now wikina means neighboring or nearby. And that's where we get words like vicinity, okay? Uh, so there you have it. It's a wila wikina. It's a neighboring country house. Now the next word is doom, not dumb, doom, okay? Uh, doom means while. And the way I always remember it is while they were marching to their doom. Uh, but you, you know, your mileage may vary. And the last word in that glossary is scribit. Everybody say scribit, not scribit, it's not a frog, scribit, okay? Scribit means he, she, or it. In this instance, it's gonna mean she, but he, she, or it, writes, or he, she, or it does write, or she, he, she, or it is writing. And we get the word scribe, inscribe, subscribe, ascribe, um, scripture, subscription, prescription, proscribe, prescribe. All these words, scribble, all these words having to do with writing things down come from scribit. Okay. Now they give you a little bit of uh, vocabulary or uh, grammar help right there above exercise 1A, but then I wanna call your attention to exercise 1A. We're not gonna do it yet, but you will see there's three more words. So let's go ahead and uh, unpack those as well. So quis, the first word you see there is quis. And quis is the questioning version of who. So quai is I know a girl who uh, likes to eat potato chips. Quis is, hey, who ate all my potato chips? So if you're asking a question, you're going to use quis. The next word is cur, not cur. Cur is a kind of dog. Cur means why. And you almost always answer that with quod. Why? Because. So cur. And the last one, we're going to break into two pieces again. So quid. Okay. Quid is the questioning version of what? Okay. What? Uh, so I always uh, think of quid is like the, qu the, the thing version of quis. Quis is asking who. Quid is asking what. So like, uh, what is the kind of animal that lives under the ocean and it's got all the tentacles and the big eye? Squid. And that always helped me. So quid means what? And then the next one, you guys are going to have fun with me saying it. Feel free to replay this a number of times. Fuck it. Yes. Fuck it. Fuck it. Feel free to play this as loud as you want. Mom, dad, my, my Latin teacher swearing at me. Fuck it. Because fuck it means he, she, or it does. He, she, or it makes. Depends on the context. Okay. In this instance, it's what is he, she, or it doing? Quid, fuck it. Okay. What is she doing? That's what it's asking, okay? So what is Flavia doing? What is Cornelia doing? Quid, fuck it, Cornelia. Uh, and yes, it does sound like fuck it, because uh, that's what it is. It's fuck it, uh, which if you want, you can have fun with the fact that it means he, she, or it does or makes. Have fun. Latin's fun. Uh, but it's where we get the word faculty, facility. Um, in Spanish, you get uh, facil, uh, which means easy. Uh, and um, yeah, so you get a lot of words that have to do with places where things are done or made. So that's the end of the vocab. Uh, in the next video, I will let you hear how it sounds to actually put all these words together. So for right now, I'm gonna hit the button.